What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, another video. Today I'm doing something crazy. So, I basically wanna to try to turn this four x four tile into a 24 by 24 canvas. It's pretty ambitious. I'm gonna show you some quick video clip of, I have practiced this at least a hundred times on really small tiles and different techniques of the swipes or the blooms. And then I even did a test run of this on a 12 by 12 canvas and it, it came out pretty good. So that is why today we're gonna be doing it on this big boy right here. So the colors we're using, so everybody knows, are Liquitex Basics Burnt Umber, Liquitex Basics Burnt Sienna, and Liquitex Basics Raw Sienna. So those are the colors that we're gonna be using today. The pillow paint is that Glidden Satin uh, Pure White Base One. It's just a pillow. I am nervous about doing this on a canvas this size. This is my swiper tool. I do get a lot of questions about what, the, what it is. My swipe tool is basically these just cut to a shape. So I'll cut those down to whatever size I need for small if it's a tile or as you can see, quite larger for a canvas. And with that said, I actually think we're ready. So this is, this painting right here, this canvas is gonna be a donation. I'm gonna give this to an awesome business owner in the local area, Marcy's Cakes and Bakes. She's hosting an event so that I can get out into the community and kind of have a one of those paint and sip kind of things with acrylic pouring. And I think it's gonna be it's gonna be super fun. So, as a way of me kind of just saying thank you, I wanted to give her something. So, here's to hoping it doesn't come out. A hot mess but I, I think it's gonna come out pretty good it's gonna take a giant amount of paint just to cover this canvas so I'm, I'm hoping but yeah I mean it's nerve-wracking because it's such a big canvas and it's the second ever gallery wrapped canvas that I've ever done so I think it's gonna be fun. What I'm hoping though is the paint doesn't pool so much in the middle that it allows it to spread at least. And it looks like it is spreading. It's just so much paint, guys. Good gosh. I mean, going from making coasters to trying to make something of this size is <laughs> insane. Just uh, the amount of paint that I'm having to put down on this, just for a pillow, is crazy. But with blooms, it's very important to have that pillow because if you don't, then your paints can't slide. And if your paints can't slide, then there's no point. Your paint's gotta be able to slide. So I think that's all I'm gonna put on there for right now because I'm going to actually try to maybe Wow, that's so heavy right now. You know what, maybe I'll just give it a little bit of a spin. Just a small spin. So this canvas is also mounted on my little cake spinner. I have a 24 by 24 piece of plywood underneath it to help it. Wow, that is just so much paint, y'all. So much paint. And normally I'm, I don't shy away from using a lot of paint, but oh goodness, that's a lot. So I already know there's gonna be a good chance that this could crack and craze. So I'm gonna have to take very special careful uh, attention to it during that drying process. Because if I let it crack and craze, I mean, it will. I'm, I'm certain of that. But yeah, so I sprayed this canvas with water front and back. I let it dry, trying to tighten it up some because I knew just the weight of this paint 
was gonna make the canvas sag a little. And it is. Sorry, all I'm like geeking out over here. I'm super excited. This is one of the bigger canvases I've ever done. And the idea of just giving this to somebody, you know, kind of like a piece of yourself, you know? It's just such a good feeling. But of course I'm being super, I'm probably gonna be super hypercritical of myself. And what I'm not gonna be able to do is re-pour this. So we're gonna try to take really special care to not mess this up. So I'm gonna start with layering the colors down. It might have been kind of silly to put it all in these droppers. I probably should have just poured it, but yeah, I'm getting like one stripe. And then just so you guys are aware, um, the purpose of the pillow is to give it kind of a bubble to travel on so things can move and spread out and get bigger. Well, by doing, by, by me layering the colors this way, the paint is already starting to level out. So I'm kind of on a time crunch here. I got to get this just down. And we're going to make some little stripes. These are where my swipes are going to be. I want to make sure that there's color there. Because the color in the band going through the middle probably won't be quite enough. So I want color to swipe through. There we go. All right, let's move on to our next beautiful color. All right. But this process is so much fun, guys. Like, I love this stuff. But I hope everybody's doing wonderful today. It is a nasty, rainy day today in North Carolina. But it is what it is, y'all. All right. We're working. We're working it. These colors together make such a pretty, like, chocolate look. <laughs> and I love the, these colors together. They're so cool. All right, let's reinforce our little swipe areas a little bit. And uh, the whole purpose of these little swipe lines, these lines I'm drawing now, are because I don't think that there's enough color that's going to get pulled along with it with the swiper tool just from the line alone, from the band alone. So I wanna have more color to drag it through so I can get some pretty cool like multicolored cells and lacing, hopefully. But as you saw in the beginning of the video, I've done hundreds of these, right? On little four by four tiles, but it's a completely different animal when you're working with something this big. So much more resources and just so much more pressure to get it right the first time. Because I think I used a, about a half a gallon of white paint just for the pillow. And it's already starting to run off one side. So, yeah. And I have no way to break that surface tension right now. I do want to try to maintain this line going through the center because as it spreads it's going to to need that all right now real quick i'm not going to be able to show you on camera but i will record something right after this to kind of show you how i get the cell activator onto my swiper and uh yeah so it's my normal cell activator that i use for all my blooms. I'm trying not to waste any of it because just like the other paint, I'm sure I'm going to use a lot of it. All right, here we go. Are we ready? I hope we're ready because we're doing it. All right. 
right down the middle, right here. All right, wipe it off on my paper towel. I've got a whole section of paper towels over here to try my darndest to keep this area pretty clean. But yeah, that swipe, those colors in that swipe, as you can see what I was talking about, I was worried that it would not be enough to drag through. And now I feel like I should have made those lines a little wider. But this is a learning experience. And y'all are learning with me right now, so. Can't be afraid of the process. All right. in so much paint but I think it's gonna end up super gorgeous and that's that's gonna be awesome I might do a couple extra swipes too I might, I'm gonna have to more than likely so I'm just spreading it out on my swiper tool I'm trying to catch as much of this cell activator as I can in the uh, Was a that was an interesting one. It didn't do it quite like I thought it was going to do, but we're just gonna roll with it. Because the cell activator, as it continues, I mean, you're probably seeing it live on the screen right now. The cell activator continues to sink, and that's where that, all that lacing and stuff comes from. Cover the swipe you do. Man, oh man, this is so much fun. I'm having a blast, y'all. I hope y'all are having a good time. I'm gonna turn this thing. I had to build this little enclosure as to not get paint everywhere because I do tend to get paint everywhere with this process. Goodness, look at this thing right now. It's crazy. All right. Cell activator. A little bit there. And then we'll cover the edges. I think that's enough. And we'll swipe it. Now, I don't really put much pressure, if any, on the swiper tool. I kind of just lay it down and pull it. If you put too much pressure, it's going to cut through those paint layers and leave like this weird wispy trail that I'm not fond of, really. So what do I want to do with this now? Because I can't leave those bands like that. That just looks silly. I might grab a slightly smaller swipe tool and we're going to continue because I still got to spread this paint. And when I spread it, I know those cells are going to open up even more. And there's still a whole lot of freaking paint out there, so. so. I might do some little wispy patterns. Add a little bit more depth to it. I didn't eat this morning yet because I was just too excited to do this. As soon as this gets gets done, I'm definitely gonna go eat something. All right. There we go, huh? These colors together, I love these colors. So it's not gonna be an exact duplicate of what I made on the small tile. And I'm seeing that now. And I think it's still gonna be really cool. So let's see. Let's see what we can get out of this. Alright, 
let's do this again here. Ooh. Sound like the bear's running wild. Hold on. Just took some of that excess off. I already dripped a drop into that white paint, so that's gonna look different, which is okay. The most important thing, guys, is just have fun with it, you know? You just gotta have fun. It might not come out exactly like it looked in your head, but there's beauty in everything. I'm sure once this is done and I slap some resin on this bad boy, I'm gonna love this thing. I mean, I already do. All right, I think we're gonna start spinning it before I lose like almost all the pillow because all the pillow is draining off just one side I'm gonna have to tilt it a little bit trying to bring this lot because you can see oh man, I'm tilting this monster this thing is giant but it's gorgeous and then just like a normal acrylic pour I'm gonna have to make sure the edges and the corners have paint to help the rest of this slide. Because if not, it'll just roll under, and I don't want that. I want it to slide completely up. I want it to open all the way up into a glorious bloom. Just a giant swipe. As long as I have paint on all four corners, it will be able to do that. Oh, hit the paint can. All right, let's get some out here. And then I think we're gonna be ready to start the spin. Now I got some on the, uh, color itself and you saw that probably and that's okay it's not going to hurt anything right now I'm going to move my colors out of the way just in case that white does kind of push out a little bit further than I'm anticipating I don't want to contaminate all my colors with this white paint I'm going to grab a glove and we're going to try to open this thing up it's going to be Frickin' amazing. This is so exciting. Oh, man. All right, we ready, guys? We're doing this right now. Let's do this. So I'm just gonna do gentle spins because this is so much larger than I'm used to. But I want it to spread. As you can see, the colors are already starting to push out. The middle is kind of opening up. Those delicate little swipes are just getting a lot wider. And that's that's glorious. That's exactly what I was hoping for. It's just amazing. I love this thing already. And it's doing it's it's not exactly perfect line going right through the middle, but this thing is cool. The colors, the richness of it. And as you can see where I didn't do the stripes, there's no color in it. It's just black lacing against that white. And then the white house paint is kind of intermingling with that cell activator in a little bit different way, but it's still really cool. Really cool. The only thing that makes me nervous right now is I know there is so much paint on here. I know there is. There's so much paint. Yes, a lot of it is dripped off, and that's that's good. I think I'm gonna have to kind of give it another spin, but I'm seeing a whole lot of bubbles, y'all. So I'm gonna see if I can. Hopefully, that ain't gonna work. Let me get the fire torch real quick 
if I can remember where I put them. There she is. No, that's the can. No, oh, it was right next to the other one. Goodness gracious. All right. I'm tearing stuff up over here. All right. Let's go through pop any of these bubbles, right? Because we don't want those. All right. There we go. All right. I think I'm going to give it... Oh, i got to go the other direction. Because I don't want the cells to be turned the same direction. So, just a little, little turn. Continues to open this thing up. Look at those cells, they're so huge. <laughs> this is amazing, I love it. There's a lot of negative space, but then there's, there's a whole lot of these coffee colors intermingling with this thing. I love this. This looks so cool. Wow. All right. But look at how big these cells are opening up to. That's so crazy looking. All right, let me slow this thing down. I think we're gonna, I think I like it just like that. Because it has that space here where the color kind of intermingles with it. It's got this big swath of negative space. The only thing I'm concerned with is that drying and maybe possibly cracking. And if it did, I would have to repair it. But I'm seeing like there's a lot of, uh, we got most of the surface paint off. There's no big puddles. It all seems very, very level and just gorgeous actually. So let me bring you guys down and check this thing out because this thing is amazing. I love this thing. I mean, this thing is gorgeous. I mean, look at the cell effects and those are giant. Some of those cells are almost two inches long. It's crazy. And then here where it was just cell activator in the white house paint, stark white cells with very, very defined black lacing. I love how these colors just intermingled with everything. So as promised, I wanted to show you guys that this thing is almost completely dry. There's still a small spot right in the center, and you can see it's more reflective. It's still pretty wet. But I am super pleased to tell you, we have zero cracks. No crazing in this at all. I love this thing, and I can't wait to varnish it. What do you guys think about it? If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.